hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to sew a floor length gather skirt that has a slit in front with a zipper leading to that slit if it's your first time here hi my name is bethel and on this channel i make sewing tutorials general stuff you know just fun stuff in my life and my thoughts on things so go ahead and check out my videos if that's what interests you but in today's video i'm going to be using this fabric to show you how to sew that gather skirt if it's your first time ever sewing a gather skirt i got you i have a whole tutorial beginner friendly tutorial from the scratch on how to sew gather skirt so go ahead and click on the bubble above right here to watch that video and learn how to sew a gather skirt before you watch this one this is going to be detailed too but if you're a beginner beginner i'd rather you watch that video first first things first this fabric usually comes in six yards it's called ankara fabric for those who don't know what fabric this is it's called ankara fabric and it comes in six yards but in my last video i told you guys that a waist of um 25 and you know below or between 25 to like 30 i'm going to use three yards but in this video i want to make the skirt like really full so i'm going to use four yards for the skirt so easy peasy remember i told you guys how to cut so all i'm going to do is cut out four yards from this chunk of six yards it's a floor length skirt i'm not really worried about you know cutting out the length just yet all i'm going to do is cut out the width one yard is 36 inches i'm going to go ahead and cut out one yard not cut out one yard but like you know measure out one yard okay so one yard 36 inches i'm going to go ahead take off my tape don't lose the points fold it so this is this is two yards now then fold again now this is three yards oh this case would be like super full now fold again now this is four yards so at the four yard mark i'm going to go ahead and make a notch so a notch just like a tiny cut with a scissors tip so just make that notch and this is the best part go Okay, so keep my two yards to one side because I'll be using that to make a blouse, which I'll show you guys how to make in another video. So my four yards of fabric, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a line, two lines actually, on the top with my loosest stitch. When sewing with this fabric, one thing I'm going to put into consideration is the fact that it has a pattern that's, paced, that's facing a particular um, place. So now it has the horse pattern, so it's either going to be facing up or facing down facing down the horse is just looking like upside down facing up it looks like they're climbing up so my goddess is going to be on this top part because this is how the, the, the skirt is going to fall take note of that if you're working with fabric that has patterns next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and pull on the thread i believe it's the one on top i pull I'm going to use this machine for gathers and different machines that you pull from different sides. Okay, so I go ahead and take my two threads and start to pull. Like so. Okay, so I have done my gathers and this is what it's looking like. So I, I measured the person's waist is 25 but i have 20 28 measured here so that way i have one and a half inch for zip allowance on each side which amounts to three inches i'm just going to go and sew a straight line so i can hold these gathers the way it is so this is it when gathered i'm going to go ahead i stitched the line i'm going to go ahead and just keep this aside and then grab my extra fabric so now i'm going to cut out the waistband i don't want it to be too thick I want it to be at least like i want it to be um let me see my tape two inches wide yeah two inches wide is like okay for it so i want it to be two inches wide what i'm going to do is my waist is 25 but i'm going to add extra allowance for zip so i'm going to cut out 28 it is right here and then i want it to be two inches thick so i'm going to go ahead and measure out five inches because two times two is four and then i'm going to leave half inch for sewing the top and the bottom so right here so five inches is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler to just like draw it. Okay. So now that that is done, this is what I have. It measures 28 by five. 
okay so i'm going to go ahead and sew a straight line round like this joining these two together i'm done with this one so this is how i sewed it on this is what it looks like after i sewed it on so the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and open it like so now this is the front of the skirt yeah i'm going to go ahead and bend this top like this and then place it like this then i'm going to sew very close to the edge like so like this bend place it on top of here like this and just so to basically cover up that gathers or those gathers so so okay so now our skirts up to this extent what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fix this zipper in an invisible way what i mean by that is i'm going to um um, I'm going to fix like it's an invisible zipper. So I'm going to face it backwards and sew like this I'm going to show you how I sew it because it's easier seen than explained But I'm going to sew it at that one and a half inch allowance mark, which I had left I'm going to first place my zipper like so just observe. This is the front of the skirt. Keep that in mind I'm going to place my zipper like so. Oh actually on the other side upside down like this so placing my zipper upside down and I'm placing it at that one and a half inch mark because that's where I'm going to sew at. So one and a half right here, perfect. Okay, so I'm working it because I don't want to sew my zipper to like get to a particular um extent. Okay, so when I get to the particular extent I want, I'm going to go ahead and increase my zip and sew. So my zipper is upside down again. I'm just sewing, I'm sewing very close to the teeth right here. When I get to the end, I stop, then take, open it, and then finish this up. Okay, so that first side is done. So now on the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it like this. trying to see where it starts from so that way I can sew okay I can see that it starts from here let me bring it down a little bit in case this stretches it yeah so it starts from like somewhere here so I'm going to turn it after getting my point turn it open up the zipper to a certain extent make sure you don't lose that point while you're manipulating it then Feed it. Do not lose that point. You can pin it if you like. But as you have noticed, I don't like stress. So put it down, and then begin to sew. When I sew to a particular extent, I'm going to um, zip it up. Okay. So I think here is good enough to zip. So zip this up. So then come back and start sewing okay so this is how close to this thing i am sewing sewing literally very close to the teeth but not on the teeth okay, so after fixing the zipper this is what it looks like so how it zips is like so put it like this zip it and the cool thing about this is you can literally stop it anywhere and it doesn't really like open up so you can stop it like if you want it to be just the waistband and you want to make it yourself you can do that but like you can stop it anywhere anywhere you want the slit to stop it stop it what i'm going to go and do now is i'm going to go ahead and press this so that, that way the zipper is showing like really good and this place is more defined then i'll figure out what to do with this opening right here okay so i ironed it down and while i was ironing it i just you know just thought about it and i really do not want to stitch it down i don't want to stitch to show what i'm going to do is i'm going to hand stitch it so i'm just going to like make little hand stitches like okay so this is the open part right i'm just i just i folded it and i um, ironed it twice so it stays like this what i'm going to do is i'm going to hand stitch it here doesn't matter if it, it does not matter if it shows in front or not i really want it to hold i'm going to make it show in front because it already has like little black design so nobody's really going to see that little dot you're making 
so i'm going to go ahead you can you can actually hem the whole thing if you want but literally i do not have strength or time to hem the whole thing so just a few stitches like that and then i'm going to tie it and i'm going to do it like every two inches or every like three inches straight down on this side and the other side okay so that one's down this is what it looks like from the front okay so i've stitched the parts down as you can see it's really not coming up like the whole thing so it's gonna stay down like that even after washing so that's the end of this video i haven't decided what i'm going to do to the bottom part but i'll most likely just bend it like once like this i, I want the person to wear it first so i can see what it looks on her but this is the skirt and i'm going to show you what it looks like on the mannequin and on the model if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more sewing videos like this also if you have suggestions go ahead and leave them in the comment section i'm going to try my best to make those suggestions and let's see how it goes i also have a telegram group which i'll advise you join uh, we share sewing tips there like different styles we're working on and you know we're trying to build a group it's small for now we're trying to build it let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you guys on my next video bye you're special and you're reckless Babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top, oh yeah, oh yeah Like how you do